If you ever feel left out about not having a new phone, like let's say your phone is like mine, it's a little long in the tooth, a little old. Put that come on. There's a simple trick that can make you make you feel like you got a new phone even though you don't. And that is phone cases. And the nice thing about having an older phone is the phone case is usually a lot cheaper. Like a ninja. SD card. My favorite bamboo case. Probably the third one I got. I use them. They're great. They fall on the ground. They shatter. They do their jobs as phone cases. But then eventually I gotta get a new one. This one. Real freaking wood. How great is that? You gotta clean it the right way. In your shirt. Look at that. Perfect. It's like a showroom model. Boom. New case. I just saved myself like 900 bucks. So today we're gonna play with an application called R-Sync. R-Sync, if you haven't used it, has been around forever. Something you want to keep in mind with R-Sync that it kind of works like you have R-Sync, you have your switches, and then you have your source and your destination. So poop, 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 poop. The source and the destination can be local folders, but it can be any other protocol that R-Sync is compatible with. For example, SSH. So for a while there, I had R-Sync on my phone. And then when I wanted to push my photographs and videos I shot with my phone to my computer through the, uh, the internet, I'd run an R-Sync script. It would copy all the files from the camera folder through, um, through SFTP, or I'm sorry, SSH, and dump it onto my server, ready to go, and it worked fantastic. What other things can we do with R-Sync? So I have these folders here. I'm gonna just tree out so you can see what I'm looking at. I have two folders. Folder one, folder two. And this is, this for the record is going to be really basic what I do with R-Sync. There's a lot more complex things you can do with it, but we're just gonna scratch the surface here. But for example, let's talk about synchronizing files folders. Let's see if I remove from O2 taco. Now, if we look at the tree, it's missing. So we can go R-Sync. And I usually do V for verbose and R for recursive for subfolders. And then I can copy all the things from O1 to O2. And there it shows me sending into a file list. And now if we look at the tree, they are identical again. But you can do things like, let's say I have O2. Um, hamburger.markdown. Now when I run my tree, but let's say for some reason, hamburger is an old file and the newer hot dog and taco documents are up to date. These ones are all old in folder two and you don't want hamburger anymore. Well, you can rsync. I do VR again for recursive. Delete. And then I go 01 slash dot, 02 slash dot. And what this is gonna do, it will synchronize all the files in one exactly like it is in folder two. So new files are replaced, deleted files are deleted off of our new folder. And now they are again, totally trans uh, identical. Yeah. One of the reasons you might wanna use this is if you are doing a static site generator or a hand-built PHP site, and you wanna quickly find a way to upload your documents to the web server, but you want it to be identical. You delete that file. You want that file to be deleted on the server. You know, for, for anything that you want to be synchronized, synchronized, like truly synchronized, you can do it that way. Again, we are just barely scratching the surface on our sync, but it's definitely worth looking through the man pages or the online documentation getting your hands on it, digging deep, because it is a fantastic piece of software. And it doesn't hurt that it's on every single platform under the sun. It's on your phone. 
if you run Turnbox. It's on a Raspberry Pi. It comes pre-installed on some distributions, but it's in the repository of everything. So that is that is rsync. Check it out. I found the official website here at rsync.samba.org, where they have again the full documentation ready to go. The man pages are on your system. Enjoy it. It's fantastic. And that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making that video. Click on the thingy bobbers to follow my stuff down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.